when I was outside, everybody didn't want to wear their masks. With Surrey's largest elementary school shut down for two weeks and 850 staff and students sent into isolation, there's a lot of anxiety right now. Even at schools deemed safe, many parents are worried. I, I need to keep my children safe, so that's why I took them out of school. There have been more than 160 exposures sent out to schools in Surrey over the past month. Only Cambridge Elementary has been ordered to shut down, but it may not be the last. I think we have to look at this Cambridge not as uh, an isolated case, but per perhaps the tip of the iceberg. So we fear that we are going to see more situations like this. My son is coughing a lot. So he's on his way to get a COVID test, but until he gets the results, he's just keeping his fingers crossed. You've heard uh, Dr. Bonnie Henry talking about how uh, low the transmission rates are in school in general, but if we lose control of what's happening in the community, uh, that poses the major risk uh, to schools. The ability to keep everyone safe is highly dependent, Fleming says, on how fast cases can be identified and contact exposure traced. That is a, a source of significant family stress and we can understand that. We have to uh, continue to increase our capacity to do investigations and to be able to, on the most timely basis possible, contact all those who may have been uh, exposed to somebody. But BC schools, he maintains, are for the most part doing well. That the safe school reopening plan is working, but not everybody's buying it, especially in Surrey. Absolutely not. Um, well, I mean, I have the option of like staying at home with him. Um, so, I mean, I would prefer to homeschool. Um, just because I don't feel it's safe right now. Still, there are downsides to keeping kids home, and it's not just childcare. Dr. Bonnie Henry said she's looking at closing BC schools early for Christmas. We know that older children um, will naturally congregate in other settings. So how do we make sure that those aren't more risky um, than some of the things that we're seeing uh, uh, happening now? So there are many different considerations that go into this. So many considerations that will have to be dealt with on a day-to-day -day basis, only adding to the uncertainty. Deborah Goebel, CBC News, Surrey.